You sure you got everything? I'll lay for your dinner sure. reservation. Oh, okay. Baby, you want to drive? Because I got to do something on the phone real quick. Yeah, your feet? Okay. Here. That's not my car. I got you the wrong car? Happy birthday, baby. <laughs> what? Hey guys, Christian here. Welcome back to the channel. So today is a very exciting day because I'm about to go purchase a brand new car for my wife. This is going to be by far the biggest gift I've ever given to my wife. And kind of thinking about it, the biggest gift I've ever given to anybody. So I'm really nervous and uh, sort of anxious as well. But considering the fact that we just had a baby boy about two months ago, that's our first child, and the fact that she's been driving her Mazda 3 for about 10 years, I think it's time for an upgrade and it's well deserved by her. She's been a super mom, a phenomenal wife, and just a great life partner to be with. Um, we're about to approach nine years together, and I really want to do this for her. She deserves it, I think the family deserves it, and our little baby boy, Christian JR deserves it as well. For those of you guys that have been subscribed to my channel for a very long time, you probably might have seen her car in the past. I think it was my second video that I ever uploaded where I was polishing her headlights, her faded headlights. Um, that's the Mazda 3 we're gonna trade in. Let me show you real quick what it looks like and why I'm looking to upgrade the car for her. All right, so this is my wife's 2010 Mazda 3. Uh, I think Sport, I don't even know what the sub model is that, who cares? Anyways, it's the base model Mazda 3. She's had it brand new. Since 2010, she was the first owner of this car. And this car has been through everything and it has been very reliable. For you guys um, that are interested in a very cheap car that's reliable, four doors, um, and you can find them really cheap, this is a really good option. I think I even included this car in one of my list videos for the most reliable cars for under $5,000. This is a very solid pick. But you see, for like a family, it's not really the best and I'll tell you why. All right, so here's the inside of the Mazda 3. When she first purchased this car in 2010, that was before we started dating, um, I think she got screwed over at the dealership. They charged her MSRP, maybe like 25 grand for this car, I think, and it doesn't even have power locks, guys. No power locks. And if you look down here, manual seats in the front, manual seats in the passenger side as well. And to be honest, I'm very surprised that it even has power windows. Looking at the front passenger side, it's a bit of an issue as well. If you notice that there's not a lot of clearance right here, so I always have to drive if we're driving as a family because I just have no leg room, but my wife barely fits there. And that's because of the where the car seat goes right here. It kind of goes a little too forward and it's pressed against here. It's just too much of a tight squeeze for our liking. And if you look right here by the back of the center console, it doesn't have any air vents because this is a base model one. So when it's a very hot day, we turn the car on, it takes forever for the AC to actually make it to the back where the baby's at. And that is a big no-no. But definitely one of the drawbacks is that she doesn't have power locks. So she would have to open the driver's side door, put the baby down on the car seat, stretch all the way to this side, open the door, so diagonally across, and then go back out, grab the baby, come around, and put him in place. And it's just too much of a hassle, especially here in the Florida sun. And of course, since it's a 10-year-old car, it doesn't have a lot of the safety features that you see on modern cars today, lane keep assist, you know, automatic emergency braking and stuff like that. This car is very bare bones, doesn't have any sensors, doesn't have really anything that's gonna really protect the family in case there's a major collision. So I ultimately decided, that's it, this car has to go, and we gotta get something more modern. You know, something that has more features, more safety features, is more comfortable, and it has a smoother ride, because as you can probably imagine, a 10-year-old car is not gonna ride the same like it did 10 years ago. Well, I mean, technically, you can probably get it to ride somewhat like it was brand new, but it would take money. The car needed a tune. The car would probably need some new suspension parts, like struts, CV joints, and stuff like that. And I'd just rather go into a newer car and not deal with that. Guys, the difference between what she's driving right now and what I'm planning to get her is gonna be a night and day difference. And I just can't wait to see how she reacts when she sees that she has a brand new car. All right, so I'm gonna finish up getting ready and then head to the dealership. I'm gonna tell my wife I'm going to my father's house to help him out with new wheels on his pickup truck so she doesn't know what's going on. And typically when I'm at my father's house, she doesn't worry too much, she doesn't really contact me too much, so I'll be able to take my time and get the right choice. See you there. Right now I'm on my way to my friend's Jean's house. We're gonna drop off the Mazda there. We're gonna take his Toyota over to the Mazda dealership, you know, just in case I wanna back out of the deal. Well, guess what, guys? I don't have the trade and I can't make a deal. Smart, huh? I can't really clown in this Mazda 3 too bad because it's been around since 2010 and it's been fairly reliable for my wife. She bought it brand new, but since then it's been through like nine rare collisions. 
the suspension is out of whack, the chassis is probably all screwed up, all the body panels have been swapped out at least once, repainted, reworked, or whatever. But through all that, she's been safe and unharmed. But that's it, it's time for something new. We got a baby in the family. I'm sure my wife is gonna highly appreciate the new SUV. The baby's also gonna appreciate it. We're gonna have much more room, a more comfortable ride, and reliability shouldn't be an issue at all. I don't know if you guys can hear, you hear all the rattling? That rattling is coming from the engine. Something is loose in there, and I was trying to fix it the other day, and I couldn't tell what it was. I'm telling you, this car is all out of whack. It needs to be replaced ASAP while it's still worth anything. Guys, I cannot emphasize enough how excited and how nervous I am. I can't wait. You heard that? <laughs> That's the Mazda, it's, uh, it's trying to talk to me. But anyways, I can't wait till tomorrow. I'm so excited, I'm so nervous. I just want the day to come so I can surprise her and just see how happy she gets when she sees it. It's been a very long time since I felt this way, to be honest. All right, we're here. What is that? Look at this lonely Gatorade bottle just sitting on the street. This is Gene's car, by the way. It's a Toyota Camry XSE. It's crazy how far the Camry model has come here in the modern era. It looks sporty as crap. Camrys used to look nothing like this before. Look at it, it looks pretty sweet. I mean, look at the front, look how aggressive it looks. You're going like that, what's up, Gene? What up? You ready to get this car? Yep. All right. I was last just showing- What? The last deal of the day, they'll be happy to discount the more. Yeah, exactly. I was just showing them how aggressive the front is because Toyota owns Lexus, right? So that's why it has a very similar front. Definitely has some designing cues of the Lexus models for sure. So a little secret right here, this guy, Gene, he actually works for a dealership, he's a salesman. So this is why I like to bring him when I go to dealerships so I don't get ripped off. This guy knows the ins and outs, right? Yep. He is there. Been doing it since 21. Which is why he told me to go today, the end of the month on a Saturday, because they're really trying to close some deals. He's not expecting it at all, right? Dude, at all. And no, Jean, she is not expecting that at all, bro. She's completely clueless. She's in bed, she's kind of upset. She doesn't want to do anything for her birthday. She's, I don't know, feeling kind of weird. But when she sees this car, boy, that's gonna flip things upside down. Sport Mazda. We are here. Now I'm really getting nervous. You know, interesting fact I looked up yesterday, the Mazda CX-5 accounts for 25% of Mazda sales. So Dude, 25%. Look, look at the lot. It's all Mazda CX-5s. Look at that, bro. Look, all Mazda CX-5s in the lot. Every single one of them. Watch. Bombard. It's like, no, no, no. No, we're here to see Alex. That's it. This is a CX-3? Bro, this is small. It's like... I don't even know why they do it. Why do they even do an F FCV this small? Funny, because this is originally what I saw online, and it looked a lot bigger, but the CX-3 is super small. I would never go for anything like this. Might as well get a car. I think my 335i has more room than this. I think this is the big boy right here, the CX-9. Oh, man. I really haven't considered this one, but honestly, I think it would be too big for my wife's liking. And no, that's not what she said. What up, Alex? I mean, if there's a van, we'll get in the van. This is a guy that's going to be helping me out with the vehicle purchase today. What's good, bro? We're good, man. Doing all right. Is this the big boy right here? Oh, plenty of, plenty of space. This is all the space she's going to need. You know, she was telling me because she was going to drop off the kid at my father's house, and she said, we can't even bring the swing in the car. We don't have room for it. Now you can put the swing in there. The, the, the only way the baby falls asleep is with the swing. Also, you can also drop the seats. Ah, uh, so you could extend it. Well, oh, that's pretty simple. Also, obviously, you have your spare tire down here as well. And the jack will be back here as well. There you go. In a day and age where cars don't come with spare tires anymore, this one actually okay. comes with one. And also, just bring over here to the wall. Down here. Um, if anyone is sitting in the middle, uh, there are two USB ports in the back so that they can charge their phones or their tablets. Okay. And also the little one. That's pretty sweet. Definitely a good touch is the AC vent in the back. Well. Dude, that was one big thing that <laughs> I was looking at the sports model earlier, but then I saw that it didn't have air vents, and I and need it, it starts at this trim. Wait, it starts at this trim. Yeah. Funny now, guys, you I was looking on Amazon. Is those things that go here to iTab? Oh yeah? Uh, iPad holder. No, what's funny is that when I originally was talking to Alex, I saw that the, the lower trim model didn't have air vents in the back and I said, no, I gotta have my baby comfortable, so yeah, I need yeah, some air vents. See, yeah, I get it, I get it. Also, <laughs> if you have a little one in the back, you wanna make sure they're good. So obviously, foreign model, power seats. Um, you are gonna have the dual climate control, so basically his and hers AC. Okay. Uh, the Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, the port's actually gonna be right over here. Um, and you'll have a dedicated phone port with a little phone icon on next to it. That'll be the uh, Apple correct CarPlay. port where you would connect your phone. Gotcha. Okay. There you go, you put your SD card in Oh yeah, dude, this looks pretty sweet, man. 
And also, it is a touchscreen infotainment system. Obviously, when your uh, phone is connected, your phone calls and text messages will appear on there as well. Uh -huh. um, as far as safety, it has everything. So you're gonna have the blind spot monitoring, the radar cruise control, and also the lane departure as well. So, and also, if she is driving between two to 19 miles an hour, or 19 to 90 miles an hour, and let's say, God forbid, like someone stops abruptly in front of her, yeah. the car will stop automatically. So That's as golden. As far as safety for the, for the missus and the uh, little one would be awesome. That's golden. So yeah, I was wondering about the touchscreen because I noticed that there's also a manual dial right. here. This is for when you're driving, I'm guessing. So if you drive more than six miles an hour, for safety reasons, it is disabled, uh, just so that obviously you're not here. Bad. Pretty much not supposed to be not catching <laughs> when you try. <laughs> Looks pretty sweet, man. She wanted a silver one too. See, her options were either silver, dark blue, or white. And I figured there's two positives to the silver. One, it's a little cheaper, and two, it's right. easier to clean. <laughs> but you notice I got the gunmetal wheels too. It looks pretty good, man. It goes pretty flat. Yeah, it's gonna be a major upgrade for her for sure. And also to know this is a four cylinder, 2.5 liter. Um, so this is gonna get very comparable gas mileage, similar to the Mazda 3 to some extent, but some obviously extent. on the weight stand for. Because as you know, usually as you go up in vehicle size, you usually take a bad flick as far as gas consumption. Answer this for me. I never really knew what this meant. Sky active. I never really know what that meant. Is that their technology? Like their Basically, their it's technology? kind of like the ergonomics of the vehicle, the mm -hmm. styling, the engine, the performance, the fuel economy, the mm -hmm. entire design of the vehicle. Sky active. Bad. Now that the sales guy's not here, tell me what you think about the car. It's a pretty good car. It's, it's worth it? For the value, yeah. Really good, right? I think so too. I just want to get your best judgment, you know? For the money, that's the best you can get for the budget. That's what's up. You heard it from the best right there. For the budget. <laughs> I know you're, you're so used to the luxury brands, Lexus and Mercedes and BMW and Porsche and Volkswagen. You've owned them all. And if you went for the camera, you went for like the top model one as well. Yeah. But we can't go based on your judgment on cars. We got to go based on my wife, on her needs. And she's not a car person, right? Nope. It's nice enough. It's well, actually, it's more. more than nice enough, Lane to be departure, honest. blind assist. Got all the security features. The seats look good. Android Auto, charging ports in the back, AC vents in the back, which is very important, I emphasize, because the kid needs some air. That's all I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> the base model had no air vents in the back. I'm just like, what? Same thing with us. We have the you guys have that? The base model don't have air vents? What, what it is? It's an SUV. No, they'll, have like, they'll have the side pillars, but then in the middle, they won't. But you get the luxury, and then it will have the middle and on the sides. So it's like four events going back. All right, so I think we got a good deal. Uh, they're just running my credit and then we're gonna do some paperwork and uh, we'll drive it home. The question is, so I agree with the car. I think it looks good. It has all the good features, but we're, I'm about to sign all the paperwork without even test driving the damn car. Okay, test driving You're not owning the car for 10 years, who cares? So if it drives like we don't care? There's no other car you want to get in here. It's not gonna drive like I mean, you're right. It's a 2019 car. You shouldn't drive like <laughs> Alex. I haven't test drove it, so it better not drive like. <laughs> it's a new car. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, that's what I was saying too. Anything's better than Mazda 3. Well, that experience with the finance manager wasn't too bad, was it, Gene? It was a breeze. Just sign, sign, sign. Offered some of the options, and uh, that's it. It's, late it's probably the easiest uh, one I've had in a very long time. All right, guys. So I was just handed the key fob for the car. The CX-5 is nice and clean and ready to go. The product special came out here and showed me a little bit about the car, some of the technology and safety features, and uh, yeah, she's ready to go home. My wife is gonna be super happy when she finds out that this is gonna be her new vehicle. I can't wait. The new car smell, baby. All right, so I just made it to my father's house. This is where I'm gonna hide the CX-5 from my wife. Tomorrow when we come to drop the baby off before we go on our date, is where I'm gonna surprise her and it's gonna be so freaking awesome. So I'm gonna leave this here till tomorrow. I was supposed to bring the key to stuff it in the garage, but I left it at home, so I'll have my father do it when he gets home. Anyways, see you guys tomorrow. So today is the day. 
My wife is currently getting herself ready and getting the baby ready so we can drop him off at my father's house and that's where I'm gonna surprise her with her new car. I feel so nervous and so anxious. I don't remember the last time I felt like, actually the last time I felt this way was when I proposed to her at a karaoke bar on a stage with a full packed house. And pretty much that's how I feel right now. But of course that's a positive feeling and I'm sure she's gonna really appreciate her new car. Now I'm gonna go back inside and help her finish up with the baby so we can drop him off at my father's house. I'll see you guys there for the big surprise. What's up little man? You're about to spend some time with grandpa today, huh? You're one hot mama, baby. Can, I, can you show the camera? I wanna see what you're rocking right now. Ooh! <laughs> Look at that, babe. That's two cakes in one day, huh? We're going to start singing Happy Birthday. Go ahead, Christian. How do I say it in Russian? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, hot mama. Happy birthday to you. Hey! Hey. <laughs> All right, check this out guys. We're in my father's garage and we got the CX-5 ready for my wife. Oh my God, the time is coming and it's really, really soon. <sighs> I gotta take a deep breath for this one because it's gonna be an awesome experience for sure, but I think she's really gonna like it. So the plan is I'm gonna leave with my wife, leave the baby with my father, and then as we're about to approach the car, I'm gonna give her the keys and be like, hey, can you drive? Cause I gotta do something on the phone. And then when she sees the new key fob, she's gonna be confused. I have the button to the garage. I'm gonna open the garage and say, happy birthday. And she should be blown away. Should be nice. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my God, look at that little face. It's gonna be changing. You trying to get some burps out, Poppy? Yes, you are. You sure you got everything? Oh, okay. Baby, you want to drive? Because I got to do something on the phone real quick. Yeah, your feet. Okay. Here. That's not my car. I got you the wrong car? Happy birthday, baby. What? <laughs> that is yours. You deserve it, baby. Really? Yes. <laughs> She's not crying, she said. Extra makeup? She's not crying. I She's just like, literally broke my whole gear with me. Oh. <laughs> oh, let's get the picture. For let's sure. Picture. Well, let's get the car out so you get a better picture. Yes, yeah, so you got power locks now. <laughs> it is so pretty. Drive it out. <laughs> now you really look like a mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she looks good in it, and I got ooh. What do you think? So awesome. What do you Thanks, like? You babe. like it? This is so cool. Thanks, babe. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm. Oh. And baby's taken care of too, because I got features for him too. No, yes, I already cried. <laughs> She's like, I ain't trying to ruin my makeup. Alright. You want a silver too, right? Babe, maybe take a picture. Of course it took this moment to be the car nerd that I am and showed the family some of the features the CX-5 has to offer. How do you like the driving experience so I love much? It. Yeah. Yeah, a lot. And I like this. This is I always wanted my whole life. I wanted it. You always wanted an infotainment display yeah. like that. Such screen. Now you got all the features. 
Apple CarPlay, you got charge ports, like you got now. safety features, you got a bigger SUV. And I was driving it at night, so I got to see what the LED lights look like in the front. Oh, you're gonna be able to see everything. Really? Yep. And wait till you see all the features on it too, it's crazy. If you want to, you can plug look, in your it phone. Has my car in there. Yeah, it does because it, it tells you how far, but if you activate that, it'll tell you how far uh, the cars are from you. It, when do you want it to slow down? It'll slow down by itself. Um, so it's you shouldn't be getting into it. no accidents at all unless somebody rears you. <laughs> then that one you can't avoid. I'm pissed. I'm pretty impressed. Mazda came a really long way and they've upgraded a lot of stuff. I can actually film in here because there's not loud noises. I was trying to film while I was driving your car the other day and I was like, oh my God, I can't hear myself. The baby's gonna be falling asleep easy as hell in here, that's for sure. Yeah. And I like how like it's so quick getting um, um, cooler because my car, oh my god. Oh yeah, it's a brand new car, so it's definitely gonna be cooler really, really fast. Are you gonna put me on a uh, YouTube? Maybe. We'll oh, see if it makes the cut. Cut, just, what were you saying, babe? I said, I was, I woke up today in like very bad mood and I was thinking, why can't it make me feel better? And I was like, absolutely nothing. And then I was thinking like, well, maybe if we went and looked at the cars, that would make me feel better. Not even buying one, just, just look, look at, at it. it. <laughs> I told you I was gonna make your day. I just didn't know, I, I just couldn't tell you how, but I told you, I promise you, I'm gonna make you feel better. I know you didn't feel that well this morning. And now you say you don't need a BMW or an Audi. You're fine with this? I'm fine with that. You're, you're fine with this Mazda? This is, this is my Audi right here. <laughs> <laughs> But the driving experience, you're, you're having a good time, aren't you? I'm about Definitely feels a lot safer than the Mazda 3, that's for sure. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that, you can tell you're my wife. <laughs> oh my goodness. And you don't have to worry about your car flipping. Yep, my car will already flip on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good, baby. You deserve it. The baby deserves it. I think the family deserves it. And yeah. I had to do what's right. We're gonna be like BMW who? Hey, 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 <laughs> hey. BMW will be on the hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, once I get the custom headlights on there, it's gonna get some more action. Now it doesn't because I don't have headlights, but eventually it will. He showed me the base metal one, babe. I'm telling you, I almost slapped this man in the face. I was like, it doesn't have rear air it vents? It have power locks. <laughs> oh, no, that's the one thing he, he said, bro, it has power locks. And I was like, I don't care. It doesn't have air vents for the kid, so when it's a very hot day, it's gonna take forever him, for him to get the uh, the, the cool air. Two. Like in my car. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, of course. So then I told him, then you don't have dual cone. You don't have the dual zone auto uh, the climate. It didn't have this, and it doesn't have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It doesn't have leather seats. It doesn't have any of the stuff. And I was like, you know what, bro? Just what's what's the high? Just give me the premium stuff. Give me the higher model. <laughs> oh, was this one? It was like this? What is this? What was it? That was your lane assist. That, that was somebody was next to you. No, it wasn't. Nobody was. Yeah, it was. You were passing him. No, That's your was, blind spot. He, I know, but he was. If you drive up. next to this guy, watch. It'll, 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 it'll tell you the, line, the, the lane assist thing. Watch. Go next to him, and you're going to get like an alert like there's somebody in your blind spot. Watch. Oh, it didn't do it that time. Oh, yeah, it did indicate it. It did, but it didn't make a noise. Oh, I think I know what that beep was because you got out of the lane. That's what it is. You got out of the lane, so it, it literally that you got out of the lane. This starts to vibrate really? once you get out of the lane, so you know that you're that you know you're going too far off. Also, by the way, I got your butt warmers. The seat is heated, so is my seat. We got some butt warmers in the car. So uh, on cold days, since the winter's coming up, you know it's gonna be a really good experience for our ass. What kind of car is that, babe? Do you know? Chevrolet. Chevrolet what? Little it says on the <laughs> <laughs> Don't say Chevrolet like I said in my first videos. Chevrolet. Yeah, and, and I what, know that. I was like surprised that you didn't know that. Yeah, well it's a Spanish thing, that's why. We say Chevrolet for whatever reason. What about that car in front of us, what's that? BMW. You know what series? One. Three series. It says one. <laughs> 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 I got pretty good eyes. It says 328i, the right yeah, side. I like the smell. The smell is so good. The new car smell? I know. My car smells like a hot it smells ass. like crack. <laughs> what are you doing, babe? You gonna show little Poppy? his new car. You're showing he's him sleeping. the new... <laughs> Yeah, he's sleeping. He doesn't care about shirt. the new car.
This experience was more than just giving my wife a brand new car, but more so an appreciation for everything she has done for us over the years. And ever since Christian Jr. joined us, the meaning of family has amplified in such a way that nothing else comes close to being as important. I love my family and I'd do anything for them, and that includes buying them a brand new vehicle that would keep them safer, more comfortable, and make them happier. Family comes first. Family is everything.